Give me a uh, beer. <laughs> this is the new Llama Mama coming from uh, oh somewhere on the west side of uh, no, Florida. No, this Llama is Kira Untapped, and that's Randy Wackerly. Okay, this is Kira Untapped. i got to do it the right way. We, yes. We're doing a interview just here a few minutes ago, and the terminology Llama Mama was used, and I, it's just easy to say, and it's fun to say. Anyway, <laughs> welcome again to Lynx Libations. We're doing the Florida is Open. For business! They are, again today. Woohoo! Um, we're we're uh, sitting here in the uh, high atop the 48th floor looking over beautiful Geneva Lake. Lake Como. And Lake Como, Lake Como is right there, but Geneva Lake just the other side of the pond. <laughs> so this one's only way. nine feet deep. I can push you in and you can still swim. But I learned last night, I went out on the boat trip on Geneva Lake. Yeah, you forgot to invite your Hey, we got somebody your who wants to sneak lovely on assistant. Our, yeah, but again, I we can't. got a problem because we've got to start again and he's got to like us or do something. Doug, are you on your iPhone? Are you on your smartphone? Or are you on a computer? I'm just curious. We're going to delete this, Doug. We're just going to work. we got to start again. But just tell us if you're on your iPhone right now or if you're on your computer. A smartphone. Or a, computer. a smartphone is what we need you to be on? Yeah. So. Let's see. Doug? Hello? He's still on, I think. I know. Nope. All right. We're going to have to give Doug a call. <clears throat> Why does this happen? He's on his phone. That now we can. Okay, there, you go. there we go. <laughs> Oh, You're coming on, Doug. There you go. We don't know what happens here. These are always good and fun. That's why we have such fun and hilarity here coming from yes. Nine Feet Lake of Lake Como. Going back to that while they're coming on. Geneva Lake goes all the way down to 100 feet deep. Yeah, but yeah. she forgot to, like, you know, tell me. Hey. Hi, Doug. Go. Hey, how are we? <laughs> good, how are you? Doing great. Good. Well, we got the technology issues all squared away, so it, uh, you know, you're looking good. And uh, everything, thanks for coming on. Can you hear us okay? Hey, thanks for having me on here. Yeah, no, we're excited. You just tilt your camera up. You, get your, you only got half your face in, so let's tilt the camera. Oh, here, let's do, there we go. There there you some go. warehouse <laughs> action going on. <laughs> yeah, no, looking good. <laughs> anyway, well, welcome. Really appreciate you coming on and all the way from Boynton Beach, Florida. Yep, thanks for having us. Uh, let's say this is, I can show you real quick behind me. Sure. Guys are... Uh, in action back here, working, which is always good. We've got quite a big facility, it, it appears, and not that far from the beach. So, it uh, tell us tell us the beginning and and because this is a veteran-owned uh, brewery, correct? Correct. Yes, our owner Mike Hawker is a uh, United States Army veteran. Uh, he was a EOD technician, does explosive ordnance disposal, kind of dangerous work. Yeah. Uh, this is less dangerous. That's a little good. more enjoyable, for sure. Yeah. Uh, we have a 29,000 square foot warehouse facility and about a 2,000 square foot right behind me, air conditioned, thankfully, uh, tap room. Yeah. We're about 23 years on tap. Yeah. So. Well, it's, it's quite an operation. And, you know, down there, did you hear that air conditioning? Yes. It you works. guys need it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We didn't have it. It's brand new for this year. We didn't have it for many years. And that was, uh, yeah. Summers are tough oh, down well, here Rob. with Miller. <laughs> yeah. Have you makes you drink more beer though? Yes. That's the thing. <laughs> beer queen right here. Okay. So I, I do like my beer. She I was like born and raised Wisconsin. Make That's right. Beer. That's right. <laughs> anyway, what we're trying to do is is let people know that Florida is really open for business all over the state. Uh, the snowbirds are getting ready to come, and. Uh, we're, you know, we're only 120 days from Christmas. So up here, about 3.30 on Christmas Day, golfers look at their um, buddy <laughs> buddy trip and uh, people pack. Literally, you think this is kidding. Friends of mine put the tree back in the box. And at 4 o'clock, <laughs> they're down the road going to Florida. So and that is a true story. It's, it's true, <laughs> I can tell you. You know, the celebration, you better get there. No second helpings, you know. Anyway, you're you're down at a part of the state where uh, it never snows, and that's what we're looking to do. Um, yes. So tell us about uh, how and what and what if I know you have a lot of events that go on at your uh, location. Um, tell us about uh, how it got started, you know, and, and how it's expanded. I mean, twenty-seven thousand square foot warehouse—that's a big operation. 
So we started in, uh, just I'll give you the kind of basic backstory here. We started in uh, May of 2012. Mm -hmm. uh, we were the first uh, really big production brewery in Palm Beach County. We were at that point the second brewery outside of like a brew pub type environment uh, in just the area in a, in a very large radius. Uh, so that really put us on the forefront, which was really nice. Uh, we, we were kind of synonymous in central to southern Palm Beach County for craft beer, which is really cool. Our, our big focus has been IPAs and kind of continues to be IPAs or hop focused beers, which people really like, as I'm sure you right. are I, familiar I, with. I, is say, our I big... do like IPAs. <laughs> yeah. So uh, one that we really like out here is our uh, Category 5. It's our double IPA. Uh, it's eight and a half percent. We dry hop that with Citra, which if you're familiar with hops is very citrus forward, tropical kind of hop flavor. And uh, that's been our, I, I believe, our most award winning beer that we put out there as a double IPA. Which is really yeah, uh, we've grown over the years. We, we opened up very small. Uh, we've doubled our our space and probably quintupled our production capacity ever since we, we opened up in 2012. It's been an awesome, awesome growth. Uh, you know, growth experience for us for sure that's great now is your distribution just in florida or our distribution currently is from all the way down south to key west and we uh -huh. go up through about daytona beach uh, and then across the i4 corridor if you're familiar with with that area of florida oh yeah uh, and then south so we kind of fill that whole area in uh, we also do work with a company which is really cool they're called tavor they're based out of Seattle, Washington, where they take in some uh, canned package of ours and distribute that across 19 different states uh, in wow. the country. It's like a direct-to-consumer uh, beer sales uh, company. Which well, awesome. Yeah, that's interesting. You have to, <clears throat> when we're not on this, I'd like to call and find out more about that. I've, I've, over the past six years, I've visited about 500 different distillery, wineries, and breweries. So. Mm -hmm. It, uh, we, we go all over the United States and these little nuggets, yeah, they always come forward. They're always amazing to me. Anyway, Miss Kara, do you have any questions? On I so you got to come down to Florida during the winter when it gets too cold and join everyone else. To... Oh, you haven't heard. Let me fill you in. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, the, our magazine, Links and Libations, came from our genesis in the world of golf. We've been in that for about 35 mm -hmm. years, not Miss Kira. No. But the other partners here, I've... Uh, uh, go way back when and anyway we begin our january adventure at the pga merchandise show which we've been going to for about 35 years i have she's not that old but <laughs> um, anyway uh i've played about 200 courses in florida my partner who's on air with and you're me. very familiar with our golf big golf scene down here yeah, yeah and what we're doing <laughs> is that golfers golf then they sip hence links and libations you know the 19th hole so we want to have you tell us who your partners are in your area, the golf courses that are there. We'll do this off camera, uh, and we'll get a list of them to make sure that they're all promoted, but they all know where to come and sip. The sipping part we start with first, and we build the case around it, you know, on the other side. Well, so. it's perfect because I'll be down in that area in December. <laughs> yeah. Coming to a big wedding. No, so. I'm not. It's my birthday. Oh, your birthday again this year? I don't yes. want to celebrate it. I'll, come to, I'll make my best friend come with me. We'll celebrate. You should. Well, I mean, we, we have beers for everyone out here. Beers for the non-beer drinker. Yeah. Honestly, it's probably our biggest seller. We've got a light lager that to 4% is basically like a, a, a well-crafted kind of Budweiser, Miller, or Coors, the thing that people are just used to drinking. Mm -hmm. We do that here, and it's our, our best seller in our tap room, surprisingly, even with 22 other beers on tap. It <laughs> my mind. How, how people do just we... like to drink a light beer. How do we sort through those? You know, it's going to be. I'm going to try them all. When yeah. Ask I'm our, <laughs> honestly, ask, ask our bar staff. We, they, we make them drink the beers every time they come out. I know it's the worst part of their job <laughs> so they have to drink it before they go to work. Uh, but they're very knowledgeable. Uh, and honestly, we'll take, even if you're not a, a, beer, a beer drinker or a big beer drinker, if you like wine or if you like spirits, they can pull from that flavor profiles that might work for you in really? the beers that we make. Absolutely. Wow. Uh, for us, for me, when we had, uh, we did a Berliner Weiss, just a very traditional style Berliner Weiss. I had people come in saying, I only drink wine. I asked them, okay, well, what, what type of wines? White wine. All right. Like Chardonnay's, Pinot Grigio's. They're like, yeah, all right, try this, uh, this sour beer. And it has the same kind of acidity, 
you know, of a really well done, uh, you know, bright like Sauvignon Blanc or Chardonnay or something like that. And they went, wow, I had no idea. So it's really cool just to get people involved into what craft beer is. It's not just IPAs. Right. You know, it's not just Imperial Stouts. There's a lot of other things that, that you can do. Yeah. So how many, how many beers do you guys have on tap in your tap room? And then how many? We, ha the we can have up to. Yeah, go ahead. And then how many are, do you guys have as seasonal beer? I'm just curious. So uh, in our tap room, we can have up to uh, 23 taps, uh, two nitro and 21 just regular CO2 uh, beers on tap. We try to keep those full as much as possible. Uh, a lot of the times they'll just be experimental beers that we're kind of testing the waters or testing customer feedback just to see if the beer works or if we could scale it up or you know whatever kind of feedback we can get. Sometimes they don't work and they're sad. Sometimes they work really well and we only made a very small amount and then people yell at us for a week afterwards <laughs> and we have to, you know, put it on the schedule to make a bigger batch of it. Um, and I, and I'm, I think I missed the second part of your question. Oh, it was, just, <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was just about seasonal beer. If you guys have any seasonal beer. Seasonal? Yeah, it's, um, we, we actually moved away from doing the kind of traditional quarterly seasonal type thing. Of course, we have a pumpkin beer that just came out. We'll be doing an Oktoberfest that'll be coming out right now. We have to do pumpkin beer. Uh, our pumpkin beer is very much different from most pumpkin beers you'll see out there. It's not as sweet. It's a little more Florida focused because it's just so hot. There's really only two seasons in Florida, <laughs> at the end of summer and the two weeks of what we would call sweater weather. So it gets down to 60 degrees. Oh. So we have to make beers that kind of reflect that down here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we sort of pick on people. Well, we usually just do kind of once a month or so for our quote unquote seasonals. Yeah. We We're more to, limited release. We want to experience that really cool 60 degree weather because up here that's only 100 degrees warmer than what it is in January. <laughs> <clears throat> so, Well, humidity plays a really big role. I've, I've been up north where it's been, you know, colder and, and, and it's, it's somehow colder here when it's 60. 60 yeah. up there is, is a bit warmer. No. Or I'll just keep, I'll just keep saying that. Right? Come up it's here when it's 95 degrees. Yeah, no, you come up. And 98% humidity. Yeah, well. When we the, had that a couple days ago. We did, but anyway, when the Packers play. Not, the not for six months of the year. That's yeah. true. <laughs> now, that gets a little tiring. But Packers. honestly, I think that's why beer works down here really well. Sure. It's lighter than higher alcohol things. Of course, people want their rum punches and all that fruity stuff. But a refreshing beer, a nice four or five percenter is a hot day. It's perfect. And then you basically sweat off anything that you drank in an hour. <laughs> anyway. Well, here, here's a fun fact for you. Wisconsin, because of a lot of acclaim in the world of golf, is the number one golf destination yep. in the world. A lot of people didn't wow. know that. Yeah. It, yeah. Uh, that's not think somewhere saying. down here where there's golf tournaments. Yeah. Well, it used to be Florida. <laughs> Absolutely. And you're just south of um, actually the PGA at um, – yeah, the facilities are just north of you. Oops, oh, we lost him. Oh no! No, Doug, where'd he go? Come back, Doug. Oh, what did we lose? Everything? Nope, we didn't lose. Doug. Doug. Sign back in, Doug. <laughs> Doug. <laughs> it's been uh, that day. Uh, anyway, we're gonna give Doug a minute here. He did a really great job, and he was coming from. Down in Boynton du Beach. Boynton Beach, due Boynton south. Beach. Due south brewing. Uh, he did a great job. His phone might have collapsed on him, but anyway, we'll have him back on. Everybody go down there. They've got a great, uh, if you go online to dosouthbrewing.com, they've got a great event calendar. And by the way, Miss Kira, tonight is Ladies' Day at the Brewery. Oh. How did you miss that? I got to text my friend and let her know. You, she you, needs you to can go. Still, you can still catch a plane out of Milwaukee. That's and okay. You, you can get Check there. to see what's going on in December. Anyway, we're going to sign off for right now. We'll have uh, Doug come back on in the future. Doug, we want you to tell us all about what's going on down there week to week. We're going to have our Kira on tap recap Monday or Tuesday. Woohoo! And maybe both because we got a lot to talk about. Yes. But Florida is open. 
And we want to know where you're coming from. Where are you coming from? And, and you should go to Boynton Beach. Yeah. I'll little, be there. <laughs> leave a little message at the bottom for us because these have a lot of legs to them. Florida's open for business. Don't forget that, people. And golfers golf. And then they step up. Oh, let's see. Wait a minute. We'll see who's coming back it's on here. Doug. Oh, it is Doug. It is Doug. We'll bring out. him back. We're going to bring him back on. <laughs> Hello, Doug. You're coming back in. We waited long enough. <laughs> We had to put an extra couple quarters in our telephone, but uh, there he is. Hey. Oh, welcome back. The Wi-Fi just kind of fell out. Yeah. Yeah. I come over here. Well, live, live uh, again, Doug Fred. Right. you. Yeah. We did a pretty good job covering that whole thing up, so when you go watch There you go. You know, cool. So you have the expertise. It's awesome. Well, <laughs> we have something here with the Llama Mama. Shut up. Oh, that is not my nickname. <laughs> Not, so, there's worse than the game, trust me. No. That is true. <laughs> See, she's got a huge national following. She's a big hot shot, big band photographer. I'm just doing that. a musician photographer. No, she's a musician photographer, so she has a lot of people following her around. But anyways. We what's, talking... late, what's Ladies' Day at the brewery, Doug? Tell us about that, because she missed it. <laughs> what's going on today? Yeah. They're, uh, so we, today's our uh, distributor pickup, so we got a lot of beer going out into the market, okay. which is awesome. Uh, yeah. I can see you can probably hear the forklift going, the beeping, and all sorts of stuff. That's all good. Uh, we've got, yeah, we've got. I, I can see right here just like three or four pallets of beer just waiting to get loaded up, wow. which is really cool. Uh, we brewed. I want to say we brewed a category three today, and uh, yeah, just another day it's brewing beer. Another day. Why well, telling everybody we we're sort of wrapping up anyway, Doug? We don't. What we want you to do is make sure to stay stay in touch with us. Every week, just send us oh, notes course. to Kira. Take those emails. We're going to do a recap every week, tell people what's going on, where they can go, where they're going to be, golfing and such, and drinking and sipping and going to the spas and shopping and all those great things in Florida. We love Florida, obviously. We, we, we kid a little bit, but we love it. We're going to be there. So Yes. <laughs> awesome. Have, having a lot of fun. Everybody go to DoSouthBrewing.com, and uh, they have a big, big uh, calendar of events that uh, you can sit and take a look at what's going on, visit the tap room. I'll it's, visit the tap room well, in December. Yeah, it's, <laughs> you know, it's, it's I'll, I'll tease that little thing, too, which we're not really making official until, uh, well, tomorrow. Uh, so we're going to be something new for just the people looking up. Uh, we're going to have a food truck here all day, every day, permanent place, lunch, dinner, kind of like our permanent kitchen, which is really cool. That's so, very cool. Yeah. Woohoo! Hear it, heard it here first. We like as it. As it were. It like yeah. break, breaking news, as they say. Yes. You know, <laughs> anyway, anyway th Doug, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. All right. Yeah, have thanks for having me on. And, uh, yeah, you too. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.